Live by satellite from Mexico, the 1993 Miss Universe pageant. Tonight, welcome to a magical evening of glamour and excitement from the National Auditorium in Mexico City, starring 79 of the world's most beautiful women. Good evening, I'm Miss Universe Michelle McLean, and tonight, outstanding women from around the world have gathered here to compete for my title. You'll see all the excitement and suspense live as we choose the new Miss Universe tonight. The fun is about to begin, so come on, let's join the parade. The 1993 Miss Universe pageant. What a night. Host Dick Clark. Co-host Cecilia Beloco. Special commentator Miss Universe 1989, Holland Angela Visser. What a the reigning Miss Universe. Namibia's Michelle McLean, 100 of Mexico's finest folkloric dancers, and the Little Sisters of Mexico. And now, here are the 79 contestants for the title of This Universe 1993. Thank you. Thank you very much. And welcome to the 42nd Annual Miss Universe Pageant. And ladies, your costumes are spectacular. You look magnifico. This audience is spectacular, too. We have over 9,000 people here with us tonight in Mexico's beautiful National Auditorium. And thank you so much for inviting us to magnificent Mexico City. Thank you. It's nice to be here. I think you'll be uh, very glad that you invited me because I brought along a very beautiful lady, a former CNN anchor, who once wore the Miss Universe crown to help me host the festivities. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome, uh, welcome from Chile, Miss Universe 1987, Cecilia Boloco. Wonderful. You look fabulous too, Dick, and thank you so much. And good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's a real pleasure to be here tonight in beautiful Mexico City. Muy buena noche, queridos amigos. Es un placer estar esta noche en la bella ciudad de México. Wait, 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 wait. What did you say? I don't worry. I'm not leaving you behind. I said the exact same thing. Okay, okay. I think our television audience will be very interested to know that uh, you live in Miami. Yes. And uh, you are seen throughout Latin America and all of the United States on the Spanish-language Telemundo Network. Yes, that's correct, Dick. I actually do two shows for Telemundo Network. One is a daily news magazine called Ocurrió Así, mm -hmm. and the other one is a series of prime time <laughs> specials with one-on-one -on -one interviews called 
esta noche con Cecilia Poloco. So you are, you are the, um, uh, the Barbara Walters of the Spanish now. Oh, thank you so much, if you say so. That thanks. is a compliment now. I think our audience is in very good hands with you and our very special commentator, Angela Visser, up in the anchor booth there. Oh, yes. Angela will be joining me tonight. She was Miss Universe in 1989. And let me tell you that the two of us know exactly what goes on behind the scenes. And you will tell our television audience everything, everything. Uh, everything we can say on television, okay? Well, I, I trust your judgment. <laughs> Let us get started now and tell our audience how all of this works. During the past week, our contestants have uh, completed a round of preliminary competition. That's right. During the preliminaries, the judges score the contestants in three events, which weigh equally in selecting the semifinalists. The swimsuit competition, in which they modeled identical suits. The evening gown competition, with the ladies wearing gowns which they chose themselves. And, of course, the interview competition where each judge talked individually with each contestant. Now, these scores from these three events had been added and averaged for the contestants' preliminary ranking. And you're going to see these three scores that each young lady received in those events in just a moment as we begin the traditional parade of nations. Yes, and I think it's time for me to go way up there to the anchor booth. We will see you there. I hope you miss me. I will. <laughs> okay, and to all of you ladies, I know exactly how you feel. So best of luck to each one of you and enjoy it. Indeed. Yes. We'll see you later. Cel Thank Cecilia you. Boloco, Thank ladies you. and gentlemen. And now, as our contestants introduce themselves, you'll see each young lady's preliminary scores and a visual reminder of how that contestant looked in the preliminaries. Now, as you watch this spectacular parade of nations, see if you can guess the winner of the Best National Costume Award. We'll reveal the winner a little bit later in the show. And now, and now here, here are, are the 79 contestants, contestants for the title of Miss, Miss Universe, Universe 1993. <laughs> Starting with Miss Australia. Today, my name's Bonnie Delfos, and I'm proud to represent the great land down under, Queensland, Australia. Miss Philippines. For the land of me, I'm Dindy Gallardo, representing the 7,107 islands of the Philippines. Miss Singapore. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Rina Ramya, representing the multiracial and cultural Singapore. Miss India. Namaste. My name is Namrita Shirodkar, and I'm here to represent the culture and heritage of Bombay, India. Miss Malaysia. My name is Lucy. I come from a city famous of Utah, Slango, Malaysia. Miss New Zealand. Kia ora. I'm Carly Kinnaird, and I'm from the land of the long white cloud, Aotearoa, New Zealand. Miss Sri Lanka. Hi, everyone. I'm Chamila Wickremesinghe from Colombo, Sri Lanka. Miss Hong Kong. Hi, good evening, lady. Home. My name is Emily Low. I came from the Pearl of Orient, Hong Kong. Miss Thailand. Sawadee My name is Chatri Kao Gonsali. I come from Bangkok, Thailand. Miss Japan. My name is Yukiko Shiki. I'm from Takayasuka in Japan. Miss Korea. My name is Yuhayo. You're from from Korea. And now the contestants from Europe and the British Isles, starting with Miss Poland. My name is Marina Faust. I come from the land of a thousand lakes from Bengal, Warsaw, Poland. Miss Netherlands. My name is Angelique Pusala, and I represent my country, the Netherlands. Miss France. What's wrong with them, Mr. I am Dona Nicola Cruz. I come from Guadeloupe, and I represent the country of fashion and beauty, France. Miss Sweden. Hey, my name is Johanna Linda. I come from Otterabay, from the beautiful country, Sweden. Miss Luxembourg. Schönen Abend. My name is Natalie Dos Santos, and I represent Luxembourg. Miss Austria. Grüß euch. I'm Rosemary Bruckner, and I'm proud to represent the homeland of Mozart, Austria. Miss Iceland. Gott, I come from the beautiful island of ice and fire, Reykjavik, Iceland. Miss Belgium. Bonsoir, Vienna, Abend. My name is Sandra, and I'm proud to represent the culture center of Europe, Antwerp, Belgium. Miss Portugal. Hello, everybody. My name is Marisa Cruz, and I'm coming for a beautiful country, Portugal. Miss Czech Republic. Dobry večer. My name is Paulina Bapurkova, and I'm representing the Czech Republic. Miss Switzerland. Bonsoir, tous. My name is Valérie Bovard, and I represent the country of the best chocolate in the world, Switzerland. 
Miss Finland. Hyvää iltaa, buenos noches, good evening. I am Tarja Smura and I come from Nurmes, Finland. Miss Denmark. Good evening, everyone. My name is Maria Hirsen. I'm very proud to represent my beautiful country, Denmark. Miss Great Britain. Good evening, everyone. My name is Catherine and I represent the historical town of Chesterfield, Great Britain. Miss Norway. My name is Ine Bjørkestrøn, and I represent Norway. Miss Ireland. Dear Snorriu, my name is Sharon Ellis. I come from Cork in the Emerald Isle, Ireland. Miss Germany. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Verona Fedov, and I live in Hamburg. Saludos, Alemania. Miss Bulgaria. My name is Lilia Kova. I am from Bulgaria. Miss Hungary. I am Jana Farty from the popular vacation spot Balaton Furet in Hungary. Miss Romania. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Angelica Nicara. I'm from Cluj Napoca and I represent Romania. Miss Estonia. My name is Kirsti. It's the first time for my country to be in this competition. I am from Estonia. And now the contestants from the islands. And let's begin with Miss Northern Marianas. You know, I'm Wami and Victoria Tudela, and I'm proud to represent to you my beautiful island in Saipan, the Commonwealth of the Northern Marianas. Miss Mauritius. Bonsoir to the moon, I'm Daniel Pascal, and I'm proud of representing my island, Mauritius. Miss Guam. Confide, my name is Charlene Gimitato, and I represent a place where America's day begins, the island of Guam. Miss Bahamas. Hello, I'm Rache Sands, and I represent the 700 islands of the Bahamas. Miss Trinidad Tobago. Good evening. Greetings from the land of steel band, Calypso and Limbo. I am Rachel Charles, Miss Trinidad and Tobago. Miss Dominican Republic. Buenas noches. Mi nombre es Odalice Rodriguez, and I represent the island of paradise, Dominican Republic. Miss Jamaica. Hi, my name is Rachel Stewart, and I'm from the island home of reggae music, Jamaica. Miss Curacao. Hola, Mexico. My name is Elsa Rosendahl, and I'm representing Curacao. Miss Cayman Islands. Good evening. I am Pamela Ebanks, the land of beautiful waters, friendly people, and the best diving in the Caribbean, the Cayman Islands. Miss British Virgin Islands. Hello, everyone. I'm Rhonda Hodge, and I represent Unspoiled Paradise, British Virgin Islands. Miss Turks and Caicos. Hello, everyone. I am Michelle Nielsen. I'm representing the peaceful and pristine Turks and Caicos Islands. Miss Puerto Rico. From the Chinese side of the Caribbean, I am Diana Torres, representing Toata, Puerto Rico. Miss Aruba. From Nauti, from the one happy island, I am Diana Scalona, and I come from Aruba. Miss U.S. Virgin Islands. From the one and only American paradise, I am Cheryl Simpson, representing the United States Virgin Islands. the contestants from South America, starting with Miss Chile. Hola amigos, I am South Capolac and I'm very proud to represent my country. I come from Santiago, Chile. Miss Colombia. Buenas noches, my name is Paula Andrea Betancura. I come from Amazonas, Colombia. Miss Brazil. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Leila Schuster and I come from Porto Alegre, Brazil. Miss Ecuador. Buenas noches, amigos. I am Mariana Mandini and I come from the country of the middle of the world, Ecuador. Miss Venezuela. Buenas noches, Mexico. Peace in the universe. My name is Nika Chulina. I come from Aragua, Venezuela. Miss Suriname. My name is Jean Sang and I come from the land of nature, United Races, Suriname. Miss Peru. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Deborah de Sousa Pexoto and I come from the powerful land of the Inca culture, Peru. Miss Argentina. Buenas noches. My name is Alicia Andrea and I am proud to represent the country of Tango, Argentina. Miss Uruguay. Buenas noches para todos. My name is Maria Fernanda Navarro. Proudly representing Uruguay. Miss Bolivia. Hola amigos del universo. Mi nombre es Roxana Arias. I am come from Beni, Bolivia. Miss Paraguay. Good evening, everyone. My name is Carolina Barrios and I'm very proud to represent my beautiful land, Paraguay. Let's meet the contestants from the Mediterranean, the Middle East, and Africa.
We begin with Miss Israel. Good evening. My name is Yana Betty from my country, Israel. Miss Lebanon. My name is Samaya Shigawi, and I'm proud to represent the land of the cedars and the pearl of the East, Lebanon. Miss Cyprus. Calisteras is my name, so my name is and I come from the beautiful island of Cyprus. Miss Greece. Calisteras, my name is Christina Malusi, proud to represent the country with the most beautiful island, Greece. Miss Italy. Buonasera, signore e signori. My name is Elisa Iacazzi. I come from Vercelli. I represent my beautiful Italy. Miss Spain. Amigos, I am Eugenia Santana. I come from the wonderful Canary Island, España. Olé! Miss Turkey. Merhaba, my name is Ipek Yumuşoğlu. I'm bringing to you greeting from Istanbul, Turkey. Miss Republic of Malta. Lela Saiba, my name is Roberta. I come from Ormi and I'm representing the beautiful island of Malta. Miss Ghana. Barakam Kutama, I am Tamila Harun. I'm proud to represent my African heritage country of Ghana. Miss Namibia. Good evening, my name is Anya Shuda, representing the Gem of Africa, Namibia. Miss Swaziland. Sonny Bonani, my name is Nyala Thais, and I'm from Swaziland. Miss Nigeria. Good evening, I am Rola Binigay, representing my African country, Nigeria. Here are the contestants from Central and North America, starting with Miss Panama. Hola, my name is Mr. Amelia Gonzalez, and I am representing my beauty country, Santiago de Aguas, Panama. Miss Nicaragua. Hola, amigos, my name is Lisa Mario Cuyo Lacayo, and I represent my wonderful land of Nicaragua. Miss Costa Rica. Hello, beautiful people, I'm Catarina Rodriguez, and I represent the capital of Miss Costa Rica. Miss Guatemala. Hola, buenas noches, hermanos mexicanos. My name is Diana Galván. I represent my beautiful country, Guatemala and Central America. Miss El Salvador. Good evening, everybody. I would like to send you a message of peace from my country. I'm Kathy Mendez and come from San Salvador, El Salvador. Miss Honduras. Buenas noches. My name is Daniel Reyes and I'm honored to represent the paradise of Central America, the Saiba Honduras. Miss Belize. Good evening. I am Melanie Smith, proudly representing the beautiful untouched paradise of Belize. Miss Canada. Good evening. My name is Nancy Elder, and I'm truly honored to represent one of the biggest countries in the world, Canada. Miss USA. From the land of liberty and opportunity, I am Kenya Summermore from Detroit, Michigan, proudly representing the USA. And finally, Miss Mexico. Nine beautiful women, and when we return, we'll choose our ten semi finalists who stay right with us. Welcome back to our live broadcast from Mexico City and to our anchor booth. Our special commentator tonight is here for her third year of backstage reporting on the pageant. She was Miss Universe in 1989 from Holland, Angela Visser. Hi, Cecilia. How are you? I'm doing good. Welcome back. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Now, Angela, we promise to tell our audience who... We interrupt this program for WPEC Eyewitness News Special Report. Good evening. I'm Chandra Bill. Eyewitness News is... A beautiful castle. Yes. Now, Nick is about to announce the 10 semifinals. Yes. And since you've been here in Mexico City for the last couple of weeks interviewing the contestants, why don't you tell us who do you think the front runners will be? Well, Cecilia, I'm very impressed with the entire group. They're all wonderful. Oh, yes, they are. They but, are. Really. But three girls have been very strong from the beginning. Uh -huh. Miss Venezuela, you know, the oh, tall one. Yes. She's gorgeous, six beautiful. feet tall. She has the best clothes. Uh, Miss USA, Kenya. She's very strong. She has very poor. 
actress on stage. Mm -hmm. And of course, Miss Brazil. She's so elegant. She's gorgeous. Yes. So, so elegant. What yes. about your favorite now? My sentimental <laughs> favorite, like always, is Miss Netherlands, of well, course. And yeah. my favorite one is Miss Chile, who has a fabulous personality. Now, by the way, we want you to know that neither the judges nor the contestants can hear what Angela and I are saying up here tonight. That's right. Only you at home will hear us. And that way, we won't influence the scoring or make the girls even more nervous than they already are. Oh, I know. And I also know that they're very anxious, too. So let's go back to the stage and see who the lucky ten really are. And now, we are about to learn the names of the ten contestants who will continue as semi-finalists in tonight's competition. Just ten from these 79 extraordinary young women. Good luck to all. Here we go. Thank you, sir, very much. You'll see the semi-finalist composite preliminary score on your screen as she comes forward. And ladies, I will read these names in random order. The first semi-finalist for Miss Universe of 1993 is Miss Colombia, Paula Betancourt. Paula's one of the best talkers in the group, and that should make her interview very lively. Miss Australia, Bonnie Delfas. Vani had the highest score in the preliminary swimsuit competition, so we knew she'd be up there. Miss India, Namrita Shirodkar. Namrita's best friend was Miss India last year and gave her advice. I guess it worked. Miss Spain, Eugenia Santana. She's only 18. She really sparkles on the stage. Miss Czech Republic, Pavlina Babukova. Pavlina is over six feet tall and with her grace, she has great stage presence. There are five to go. Miss Puerto Rico, Donara Torres. Proud favorite in the preliminary competition and that should give her confidence tonight. Miss USA, Kenya Summer Moore. Well, you were right, Angela. Miss USA has made the top ten for the past 16 years. And Kenya keeps the streak going. Three to go. Miss Brazil, Leila Schuster. I knew Leila would be up here. And even the other contestants think she's a front runner. Miss Finland, Daria Shurmora. Finland won the first Miss Universe crown in 1952. Can Taria win it again tonight? And finally, Miss Venezuela, Milka Chulina. Milka has watched the pageant since age four, pretending to be a contestant. Well, tonight, she's the real thing. Ladies and gentlemen, the 10 semi-finalists for the title of Miss Universe 1993. that the Miss Mexico didn't make the semifinals. Now, Lupita Jones, one of our judges tonight, won for Mexico just two years ago, and they really hope for a repeat victory tonight. Now, for the 10 lucky ladies who made it, they now have to focus on what comes next. And that's a tough job, Cecilia. Well, the composite scores are now erased, and these 10 begin again competing just with each other. Now, the swimsuit competition is first, and Angela and I both know but that being in good shape is essential. It is, Cecilia. Yes. Every girl I talk to works out. Oh, good. And Miss Australia, Vani, uh -huh. well, she's very athletic. You know, she's a pilot. Wow. And I, yes. A pilot. And, <laughs> and I watched her during rehearsals, uh -huh. and she's just, like, hanging out with the crew, like one of the guys. But when she puts on that swimsuit, oh, whoa. I know, she has an incredible figure. Now, that's why she won the preliminary swimsuit competition. Yes, and Miss Spain and Miss Finland, yes. uh, they finished second and third in the preliminary, so sh they should be very high up there. Now, what about Miss Czech Republic, the six-footer? Oh, she's so graceful. And you know what the costume designer says what? about her? What, what, what? She has the best back in the pageant. <laughs> okay, we'll have to wait for her to turn around. So stay with us. The Catalina Swimsuit Competition competition is next.
Welcome back to our live broadcast from Mexico City. It's time now to meet an international group of talented people with a very, very difficult job. They are the judges who must choose the new Miss Universe. And audience, as I introduce them, if you would hold your applause until the end. First of all, the star of 11 Hollywood films with gold and platinum albums, two Grammy nominations, one of Latin America's most popular entertainers, Maria Conchita Alonso. Most recently, the bronze medal winner at the 93 World Alpine Ski Championships in Japan. He's three-time U.S. national champion downhill racer, A.J. Kitt. Journalist, film producer, and current president of the prestigious Hollywood Foreign Press Association, she's Mirjana Van Blericom. The New York Times has called him one of the great artists of the 20th century. Born right here in Mexico City, he's painter Jose Luis Cuevas. Her designs are worn by everyone, from Cindy Crawford to Whitney Houston, and appear in such fashion bibles as Vogue and Harper's Bazaar. She's Pamela Dennis. From New York to L.A., he's discovered dozens of gifted new actors for such hit films as Wayne's World. He's casting director Glenn Daniels. Her explosive style on keyboards has sent her album shooting up the Billboard charts. She's one of today's top young jazz artists, Keiko Matsui. Known to millions as Lieutenant Worf on the hit TV series Star Trek The Next Generation, he is actor and environmental activist Michael Dorn. Her recently published memoir, Palabra de Reina, is the story of her year as Miss Universe 1991. Please welcome Mexico's own Lupita Jones. Ladies and gentlemen, our judges. Angela. Our scoring system is similar to the Olympics. As each contestant competes, our judges here enter a score ranging from 1.0 to a high of 9.99 into their computer terminals. You'll see the judges' names and scores on your screen. Then the highest and lowest scores are eliminated and the rest are averaged, like this. During the semi-final competition you're about to see, each contestant's average scores in the swimsuit, interview and evening gown competitions are added and the top six composite scores will determine the six finalists. Well, our folkloric dancers are ready to set the mood for the swimsuit competition. We borrowed uh, a little bit of uh, Mexico's ancient history tonight and asked the great rain god Tlaloc to watch over our 10 semifinalists as we begin the catalyst swimsuit competition. The ladies will also be wearing Federico Leone shoes. And as they compete, we've asked them to tell us a little bit more about themselves. Ladies and gentlemen, the 1993 Miss Universe Swimsuit Competition, beginning with Miss Colombia. What I've enjoyed most as Miss Colombia is raising money for the preservation of the Amazon. I find it extremely fulfilling to, in some small way, help the cause of environmental awareness. Miss Australia. Back in Australia, I'm a professional model, but for fun, I really like to jet ski, water ski, and rollerblade. Uh, I'd have to say that I'm a really sporty sort of person. I'm, I'm definitely an outside person. Miss India. Well, my grandmother was an actress, my sister is an actress as of now, and my mom is a model, and I model in back home. And uh, I'll definitely give it a thought, but um, I should have job satisfaction if I star in the movie, and I won't do it just for the guy. Miss Spain. Ever since I was a little girl, I've loved animals. Right now I have two dogs, a cat, a parrot, two other birds. I'd have a hundred pets if I could. Miss Czech Republic. I think that 
24 hours in a day is too small for me because I'm like this. I have very much work. I have boyfriend, I have family, I have sister, and I like play the squash and swim. I think I I have very happy life. Miss Puerto Rico. I've been riding horses for nine years now, and we have a couple of our own, called Vigo and Cluda. With animals, I've learned you get a lot farther with kindness than with force, sort of like with people. Miss USA. Myself as a plan. Everything that I do in my life, my goals, my dreams, my aspirations have to be written down. I have to see them. So I have a plan for the week, the month, the year, everything. And it keeps me focused. Miss Brazil. Growing up, I was one of five daughters and a very shy little girl, always staying close to my family, making little clothes for my dolls. Then somewhere around 13, I guess, I began coming out of my shell. And today, I'm a very strong woman, and I go for what I want. Miss Finland. Miss Venezuela. Soy una persona que lucha por la I'm the kind of person I see what I want, I go after it. But I don't expect it to be given to me. I work very hard and put my whole heart into everything I do. Trabajo mucho y pongo el corazón en todo lo que hago. Beautiful ladies, thank you very much. That completes our swimsuit competition for Miss Universe 1993. They are all so spectacular. They are. Here. They are. And so confident on that stage. Definitely. Now, yes. let's see how the judges score this first event in the semifinals. They gave the highest score to Miss Australia. Miss Venezuela second and Miss Czech Republic third. Miss Venezuela and Czech Republic are very close there. Yes, they are. And Catalina will award the winner, Miss Australia, either a cash prize of $1,000 or a photo modeling contract worth $2,500. That's very nice. It is. It is. Nice. Now, while the contestants are backstage preparing for the interview competition, come and join them in a fiesta of food, music, and beautiful architecture. A few days ago, they took a tour of some of the most exciting cities in Mexico. Oh, yes. They experienced the true spirit of Mexico in Campeche on the Gulf of Mexico. The floating gardens of Xochimilco, beautiful Oaxaca, historic Querétaro, and colonial Zacatecas. Our traveling musical fiesta begins in Campeche.
れたろ Country, and they've also been very busy here in Mexico City. Yes, Cecilia, you know what? This what? group loves beauty tips. I bet. Yes. <laughs> so one of Mexico's top hairstylists, uh -huh. Tony Diadello, yes. conducted the Palmolive Optims Hair Clinic to show them Optims multi-level hair care. By the way, how do you say great hair in Spanish? Cabello maravilloso, and I think that they all have it. Now, Angela, the interview competition is next. Who impressed you the most? Well, for sure, I have to go with Miss USA, Kenya. Uh -huh. She's, like I said before, she's very strong. She's so poised on the stage. Very and secure. Yes, and I tell you, she's never at a loss for words. Now, what about Miss Colombia? She won the preliminary interview competition. Paula. Yes. <laughs> she has such a great sense of humor, and she has so much personality. I could have talked with her for hours. Now, uh, what about Miss Venezuela? Miss Venezuela, Milka, she yes. finished second in the preliminary competition. Uh -huh. She's very sweet and charming, and I think this audience is going to like her. Oh, and she's... Yeah. Beautiful too. Now remember, the interviews are unrehearsed and unpredictable, and they are next. Stay with us. Welcome back to Mexico City as we continue our live competition with the interviews. These interviews are spontaneous and unrehearsed, and the ladies are being judged on poise, intelligence, personality, and the content of their answers. And for those contestants who've requested it, we have interpreters standing by from De La Vega Professional Translating Services Incorporated. And we begin with Miss Colombia. This is Paolo Bettinger. She's 20 years of age, studying to be a fashion designer, working for an organization dedicated to the preservation of the Amazon. I know you spend a lot of time in the Amazon. Would you please paint us a picture of the Amazon? Sé que has uh, pasado mucho tiempo en el Amazonas y quiero que nos lo describas. Es un sueño, es un sueño de has hecho realidad, es una maravilla, es el país más lindo, el departamento más lindo que tiene el mundo, es no nuestro pulmón del mundo. Tenemos los únicos delfines rosados que hay en el mundo y es el pulmón del mundo y eso es lo que yo quiero hacer, proteger nuestro medio ambiente. Thank you. It is a marvelous place. It is a fairy tale of a land. We have, we are the lungs or the heart throb of the world, and we are the only place in the world that has pink dolphins. It is a marvelous land. Muchas gracias. There are 120 nuns back home rooting for you. How did this happen? Tengo entendido que hay 120 monjas que están acá vitoriéndote. ¿Cómo es eso? Bueno, muy pequeña quería ser monja antes de ser reina y yo sé que ellas me están acompañando y el Señor también me está acompañando en estos momentos. Gracias. When I was very young, before I wanted to be a beauty queen, I wanted to become a nun. So I know that they're all supporting me and so is our Lord. Thank you very much. Please step over here. Gracias. Miss Colombia. Next is Miss Australia, Bonnie Delfos. She's 18 years of age. She likes to jet ski and rollerblade. 
You are a licensed pilot now? Yes, that's right, Dick. I have my restricted pilot's license, which means that I can fly solo or I could take a passenger with me. How long have you been flying? Oh, about six months now. What, do you intend to follow this as a career? Eventually, I'd like to be a commercial pilot, yes. There is a big controversy, uh, particularly in the U.S., about women serving in the armed forces in combat. Do you subscribe to that philosophy? Should women fight in combat? Well, I think that a woman is capable as, as capable as a man of doing anything physically and mentally. So, yes, I agree that women should be able to fight in the com armed for combat. Thank you very much. You. Would you step over here for the judges, please? This is Miss Australia. Next is uh, Miss India, Namrata Sharodkar. She's 22 years old. She's a model from Bombay. Her hobbies include Indian classical dancing. India is so rich in tradition. Would you consider yourself to be a traditional woman or a modern woman? Well, I consider myself to be both because um, we follow traditions in our family. And uh, plus, I am a modern woman because I believe in my instincts. Now you have, as a modern woman, traveled a great deal. What interesting places have you been? I've been to a lot of interesting places, uh, like uh, Switzerland, and uh, I've been to America, and I love America. What will you remember most about what you saw in Mexico? <laughs> I'll remember Zacatecas and its uh, colonial city. I mean, the whole... Uh, colonial buildings that we saw and all its memorable architecture and sculptures. Thank you so very much for being with us. Would you step over here for the judges? This is Miss India. Next is Miss Spain, Eugenia Santana. She's 18 years of age. She was voted most photogenic by the international press assembled here in Mexico. Congratulations. You when you see um, photographs of yourself, what is your reaction? ¿Qué reacción tienes como te ves a ti misma en una fotografía? Bueno, lo primero que hago es preguntarme si esa realmente soy yo, porque cuando me miro una fotografía digo es imposible que sea yo porque a mi vista no soy la misma. Well, the first thing I do when I see myself in a photograph is I ask myself, is that really me? Because when I look at myself, I don't look like that. All right. You are 18 years of age. You have your whole life in front of you. What do you want to do eventually? Tienes solamente 18 años de edad, tienes toda tu vida por delante. Por fin, ¿qué vas a hacer? ¿Qué quieres hacer? Mira, realmente prefiero estudiar veterinaria. Tenía entre dos carreras, veterinaria o marketing. Pero desde pequeñita me ha agarrado mucho la veterinaria porque me encantan los animales, me encanta el cuidado de los animales. Y en este mundo hay que tener bastante cuidado con los animales, hay que respetarlos, cuidarlos, mimarlos. Y yo, como soy un poquito mimosa, quiero mimar también a los animales. <laughs> Look, I really had two different professions that I wanted to choose from. One was veterinary medicine, the other one was marketing. But I have chosen veterinary medicine because I love animals. And in this world we live in, we have to cuddle up to animals, we have to love animals. And I am a person that likes to cuddle up to things. I love animals. We have to take care of them. Well, we, must, we must take care of the animals. Gracias. Thank you very much. You. Please step over here for the judge. That's Miss Spain. Next is Miss Czech Republic, Pavlina Barbukova. She's 20 years of age. She is from Prague, enjoys squash and swimming. Now, when your modeling days are over, what do you hope to do? Später in deinem Leben, nachdem du nicht mehr man kann bist, was möchtest du sein? Yes, I know that I will have a big family. I want four children, three boys and one girl. And, yeah, this is one thing that I know that will. <laughs> or you will have a big. F Are you going to be a businesswoman? Willst du eine Geschäftsfrau sein? No, I don't think so because I am so. I. Uh, Go ahead in German. Yeah. In, in Deutsch. Yeah. Also, ich denke, das bin ich so Frau. Ich fühle alles und mir alles hier tut weh. Also. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I believe I am a woman of sensitivity. I feel everything here, and uh, a lot of things hurt me. Thank you so very much. Please step over here for the judges. This is Miss Czech Republic. Thank you, ladies, very much. That completes our first five interviews. We'll return with the rest in just a moment.
Welcome back to our live show from Mexico City as we continue with the semifinal competition. Our next contestant is Miss Puerto Rico, Dianara Torres. She's 18 years of age, university student, studying to become a dentist. Why did you uh, elect dentistry? Well, uh, when I was a little girl, I always liked to be a dentist, and I have braces. And I think that is the, the most important thing um, because I know that some people think that it's aesthetic, but I think it's not aesthetic because um, have another problems like um, pains and everything. Mm -hmm. And I, I want to show to the people that uh, good health or a health is a very important thing. Thank you very much. Your family must be very proud of you. Are, is your su familia here? Are they here? Yes. How many people are there? Uh, like 30 people. 30 people are here? Yeah. Brothers, my, everybody else? My brothers, my father, my, the mayor of my town, and all the people that love me. <laughs> Did your brothers take good care of you when you were a little girl? My brothers? Yes. Yes, they are very jealous. Do you have a boyfriend? <laughs> no, no, I don't have. They have to get through your brothers, in other yeah, words, yes, together. before for my brothers and then. <laughs> we thank you so very much for being with us. Thank you, senor. You step over here for the judges. That's Miss Puerto Rico. Next is Miss USA, Kenya Summermore, 22 years of age from Detroit. She enjoys jazz, writing poetry. You have been a very busy woman of late. Saw you in People magazine, the Larry King show. What was more difficult, being interviewed by Larry King or uh, waiting for the decision to be, be uh, Miss USA? Well, probably waiting for the decision to be Miss USA because it's always been a dream of mine and it has a deadline and the deadline is tonight, so definitely waiting for the judges. All right. You have, you have been a very busy woman for three months. Did you go to Europe, did I hear? Yes, I went to Germany promoting a tour that we're going to be doing um, in upcoming months and it's going to have the Dallas Cowboys and um, Mary J. Blige and a lot of great people. You know, you have been a wonderful spokesperson in just your short reign. If you were going to say something to young people the world over, what, would you, what, sh what thought would you share? I would have to say to dream great dreams, to not be afraid of the things that you want to do in your life, and not to set a limitation on yourself, because anything is possible. Believe in yourself and believe in God, and it will happen for you. You will not be denied. Thank you very much. Would you step over here, please? This is Miss USA. Next is uh, Miss Brazil, Leila Schuster. She's 21 years of age, a university student who enjoys modeling and scuba diving. How, how did you get interested in diving under the sea? When did you get interested in doing a dive under the sea? Uh, desde que eu era muito jovem, eu gostava muito de ir à praia e era apaixonada pelo mar. Na verdade, não é só o, uh, o mergulho que me encanta, é todo o esporte aquático. E adivinha, eu me sinto como se estivesse voando, uma sensação inexplicável. Since I was very young, I started to dive, and I don't believe that just diving is the only thing for me. I do all other uh, aquatic sports. It is wonderful to be like that. Is it? Frightening to be under the water? É, você tem medo de estar embaixo d'água? Não, de maneira nenhuma. Uh, muito pelo contrário, eu me sinto maior prazer, me sinto muito à vontade. On the contrary, I feel very at home. I feel like I'm flying freely. When you return home, what will you say to people about Mexico? Uh, quando você voltar para casa, o que, que você vai dizer desta experiência? Simplesmente foi maravilhoso. É, de verdade, essa experiência toda para mim é fascinante. É algo único na nossa vida, de qualquer, de todas as nossas, de todas as missas que estão participando. E eu vou falar simplesmente que o México é maravilhoso, que eu passei momentos divinos. I am so in love with Mexico. I had a fantastic time here. Everything is so beautiful. I was so highly treated. Eric going to say, I love Mexico. Muchas gracias. Thank you very much. Over here. This is Miss Brazil. Next is Miss Finland, Tarja Sumura. She's 22 years of age, enjoys ice skating, snow skiing, studying to become a social coordinator. What is a social coordinator? Have you never heard of it? No, it does not. Uh, we, I don't think we have these things. Um, 
it's a really new profession in Finland. It has, has been started in 88 and it's like a social worker. It's really wide profession in social area. You can, I can be working as a superior in old people homes uh, with children and families and with alcoholics and handicapped people. It's so wide. You, you came from a very small village. Yeah. How many people? <laughs> 11,000 people. Tell me what it is like there. People are really warm uh, and friendly, like here in Mexico City, and really hospitality. Did you ever think you would grow up to be Miss Finland when you were a little girl? Sometimes in my dreams, yeah. Your dreams came true. Thank you so very much. This is Miss Finland. Here for the judge. Our next we have Miss Venezuela, Milka Chulina, 19-year-old university student majoring in international studies. What do you want to do when you complete your studies? ¿Qué deseas hacer cuando una vez que termine sus estudios? Pues quiero comenzar a trabajar en la Cancillería de Venezuela y eh, representarlo en una embajada en cualquier parte del mundo. Me gustaría que fuera una embajada que no tuviese mucha demanda. Well, I would like to start working in the Chancery in Venezuela, and I would like to represent them in any of the embassies in the world. I would like for this to be an embassy where there is not too much demand. What qualities are important for a diplomat? ¿Qué características son importantes para una diplomática? Debes tener mucha paz interna para poder conseguir que todas las naciones se unan y poder conseguir el sueño de cada uno de nosotros, los seres humanos, que no existan fronteras ni idiomas que nos separen. One must have a lot of inner peace in order to obtain the dream we all humans have, to, for all of us to be united, for there not to be any barriers that may separate us. Gracias, señor. Please, for the judge over here. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Venezuela. <laughs> Ladies, thank you very much. That completes our semi-final interview competition. ladies now let's see how the judges score them they gave the highest score to miss venezuela second was miss colombia and third was miss india well anything can happen tonight now that completes two of our three semi-final events and when we come back you will see the contestants and the reigning miss universe michelle maglin in a musical number that it's guaranteed to get you out of your seat 1993 miss universe pageant will continue <laughs> Welcome back as we continue our live broadcast from Mexico City. It's a Miss Universe tradition to entertain you with a musical number starring all of the contestants. And here they are with the reigning Miss Universe, Michelle McLean, to get you on your feet. Take it away, ladies.
Thank you, ladies, very much. On you go. Very well done. Congratulations. Thank you, audience. That was terrific. Now, while our semifinalists are backstage getting ready for the evening gown competition, here's our reigning Miss Universe, Michelle McLean, once again, to model the wonderful collection of gifts and cash prizes tonight's winner will receive. Miss Universe receives a year's supply of Ogilvy Precisely Right, the home perm you just can't get rid of. Precisely Right by Ogilvy, the official home perm of the Miss Universe pageant, awards $7,500 to the winner who is Precisely Right. MCI presents Miss Universe with a totally new way to stay in touch with her friends and family. A pair of MCI video phones so she can see as well as talk to her loved ones around the world. A fun-filled Caribbean vacation for four, or the crown jewel. Deluxe cabins, casino, dancing, live shows every night, and tours of four islands, all from Crown Cruise Line. From Palmolive Optums, she receives $5,000 cash. Palmolive Optums, the two-in-one shampoo with four levels of conditioning for personalized hair. Confidence, glamour, and grace are just some of the ingredients of a beautiful woman. And for millions, so is the taste of Diet Coke. Diet Coke, the official soft drink of tonight's pageant, proudly awards our winner $10,000 in cash. Diet Coke, taste it all. From Catalina, Miss Universe receives $10,000 plus a new wardrobe of Catalina's exciting swimwear and sportswear in fresh designs and colors. Catalina, the official swimwear of the Miss Universe pageant. From Hawaiian Tropic Sun Care Products, Miss Universe receives a one-week vacation for two in Hawaii. Hawaiian Tropic World-Class Sun Protection. Available in over 85 countries around the world. Aloha from Hawaiian Tropic. Miss Universe receives the incomparable Minolta Maxim 7XI SLR system. The world's most intelligent camera. Plus, a Minolta camcorder, Minolta fax machine, and the world's first autofocus binoculars. Only from the mind of Minolta. She wins a $12,000 shopping spree at world-famous Flemington's, where she'll choose from their huge selection of leather and fur coats styled for all occasions. Awarded by Flemington Fur Company, Flemington, New Jersey. Miss Universe receives this gorgeous 18-karat gold ladies' watch studded with 156 diamonds from Bertolucci Watch Company. Bertolucci, the finest Italian-designed new Swiss classic for the 90s. Miss Universe receives $10,000 cash and a supply of Teatrical Moisturizing Cream and Makeup Remover, the official skin creams of the 1993 Miss Universe pet. From Teatrical, the skin cream for the celebrities of Mexico and now the universe. Miss Universe receives $10,000 and a cellular phone from Telcel, the largest cellular telephone network in Mexico, the official cellular network of the 1993 Miss Universe pet. Telcel will be at her side during many personal appearances throughout Mexico. And she receives the Alfa Romeo Spider Veloce, car of timeless beauty and classic sporting style. Alfa Romeo, the power to express yourself. Presents, yes. <laughs> now, the, the evening gown competition is next. Why don't you give us the inside information, Well, Cecilia, I always look for the models to do well in this competition because, you know, they're used to being on the stage oh, and they yes. move really good. Uh -huh. So I'd say uh, Miss Brazil, she's been modeling for six years in Latin America and um, she, by the way, won the preliminary evening gown competition in this beautiful white satin gown. Unbelievable. Yes. She looks stunning. Now, what about the other spectacular gowns? Oh, Miss Venezuela. Uh -huh. Spectacular. And Miss USA is going to wear this incredible yellow gown. Now, what about Miss Colombia? She came in second in the preliminary competition. Well, when Paula's going to come up, check it out. She's wearing these, like, six-inch heels, and she's having the tiniest waist you'll ever oh, see. Oh, I know, I know. She really looks unbelievable. So now you know, all those fabulous gowns are next. So stay with us. dancers muchas gracias whenever the miss universe travels around the world 
It's been a tradition for girls of that nation to serve as little sisters to our contestants. And here now are 79 very special little senoritas from Mexico to set the mood. Ladies and gentlemen, the 1993 Miss Universe Evening Gown Competition beginning with Miss Columbia. Puerto Rico.
Miss Brazil. Venezuela. Thank you, ladies. That concludes our evening gown competition and our semifinals. Thank you so very much. Oh, those are ten gorgeous ladies, and how sweet and adorable those little niños were. They were just I would too. Now let's see how the judges scored this last event of the semifinals. They gave the highest score to Miss Colombia, very close to her is Miss Australia, and third was Miss India. Hmm. It's going to be exciting. Anything can happen tonight. Right. Anything. Well, now is the moment when the scores from tonight's swimsuit, interview, and evening gown competition are added and averaged. That's right. So when we return, we'll reveal the six finalists. Welcome back to our live broadcast from Mexico City. Now, while we wait for the results of the semifinal competition, we'd like to tell you a little bit more about this beautiful country and this beautiful city. Here's the reigning Miss Universe, Michelle McLean, to show us around. Zocola, the central square graced by the Metropolitan Cathedral and the National Palace. They were built over three centuries ago by the Spanish conquistadores. Incredible. And beneath these walls are the ruins of an even earlier time, the floating city of Tenochtitlan. With the dazzling palace of the Emperor Moctezuma. When the Spanish arrived in the early 1500s, they were astonished at the wealth and sophistication of the civilizations they found. Even today, Mexico is still discovering hidden treasures of its past. These pre-Hispanic cultures lived in harmony with nature, worshipping their gods of the sun, moon, fire and rain. Mexico belonged to Spain for 300 years, and as the races blended, so did their culture, creating a unique new nation. Today we see this legacy in the great writers like Carlos Fuentes and Octavio Paz, and in great artists like Frida Kahlo, Diego Rivera, and Rufino Tamayo, and of course the thousands of artisans who create the nation's amazing array of handicrafts. One of the great pleasures of visiting Mexico is enjoying its traditional dishes, from simple to elegant. Delicioso. Today, Mexico is moving towards the 21st century with a dynamic economy. 
fueled by foreign investment and the growth of a new technology. The nation places great importance on education, as seen at the Autonomous University of Mexico, the world's largest, with over 200,000 students. This metropolis is home to nearly 20 million people who are proud of its beautiful Spanish colonial architecture, magnificent churches, and the many monuments honoring their great history. Mexico has always honored its past, but this country knows that whatever history holds, the future lies with its children. That's right, Michelle. And here's Mexico's 21st century, just waiting to happen. But don't wait until then to come and visit us again. Oh, I won't. And as we say in my country, Namibia, Careponawa. And as we say in Mexico, hasta la vista. Until we all meet again. Thank you, Michelle and Lupita. And now welcome back as our contestants are about to learn who the judges have chosen to go on as the six finalists. May I have the results? Thank you, sir. Once again, ladies, I'll call these names out in random order. These are the six finalists. Miss Venezuela. Miss USA. Miss Australia. Miss Puerto Rico. Miss India. Miss Colombia. Ladies and gentlemen, the six finalists for the title of Miss Universe 1993. Well, those girls don't have much time to congratulate each other on making the finals because the judges' questions are next. That's right. Anything can happen. And once again... All previous scores are erased, and the finalists begin on equal footing. That is right. Suspense, tension, and excitement coming up in just a moment. D3 Miss Universe pageant. Live from Mexico City, and it's my pleasure to introduce you to five former Miss Universe title holders who are special guests in our audience tonight. First, Miss Universe of 1978, Margaret Gardner of South Africa. Miss Universe of 1979, Maritza Sayalero of Venezuela. Miss Universe 1982, Karen Baldwin of Canada. Miss Universe 1985, Deborah Carthy-Dew of Puerto Rico. And Miss Universe 1986, Barbara Palacios Teddy of Venezuela. Ladies, bienvenidos a México! Thank you, ladies. Muchas gracias. Now we begin with the judges' questions, which will narrow the field to the three final contestants. Each young lady will draw a judge's name from this bowl and respond to a question from that judge. Now the contestant will have 20 seconds in which to answer. As the judges vote, they'll consider the answer. They'll also see a video reminder of each contestant's uh, competition earlier in the semifinals. They can base their votes on the overall impression of her this evening. The score from the judge who asked the question will be highlighted on your screen. And judges, if you're ready, we'll begin with Miss Venezuela. Por favor. Would you take a question? All right. This question comes from judge number five, Pamela Dennis. Pamela, may we have your question, please? What do you think is the most important change taking place in your country today? ¿Cuál tú piensas es el cambio más importante que está teniendo lugar en tu país hoy día? No es un cambio, es una reafirmación. Nosotros los venezolanos 
cuna de la democracia de Sudamérica, reafirmamos y, con, y convencemos al mundo de que una vez más nosotros los venezolanos tenemos bien plantadas la democracia y se lo queremos demostrar a todo el universo. We in Venezuela are the birthplace of democracy, and we want to show the whole world that we in Venezuela reign with democracy. Thank you very much. Thank Muchas gracias. Would you rejoin the ladies? Oh, excuse me. Por favor, señorita. That is me. Me. It's me error. We must wait here for the judges. A lot of pageant watchers picked Milka as the winner the moment she arrived at the pageant. And here she is, still with a chance to be the next Miss Universe. Muchas gracias. Now, Miss USA, would you come over? I should explain. I got lost in the translation. I'm usually supposed to hold the contestants here, and I got all shook up. All right, we need no translator here. Would you select? This question comes from judge number nine, Lupita Jones. Lupita, may we have your question, please? What has been the most difficult moment of your life, and what did you learn from it? What was the most difficult moment of your life, and what did you learn from it? I think the most difficult moment in my life was when I was a child, not being able to communicate with my grandmother who raised me. I think that children get so lost in not understanding what their circumstances are. However, after growing up and realizing that that could have been the best thing that happened to me to be raised by my grandmother and learn to communicate with my grandmother, I have the best relationship with her now. She's my best friend. So definitely, I have learned from that, and I will continue to be her best friend. Thank you very much. Please wait. There have been five winners from the United States, but none since 1980. Kenya Summermore, still with a chance to bring home the glory. Thank you very much. Miss Australia, would you come forward, please, and select a question from the board? All right. This question comes from judge number six. Glenn Daniels. Glenn, may we have your question, please? What are the advantages or disadvantages of being beautiful? Uh -huh. Well, uh, one of the disadvantages I'd say about being beautiful is that sometimes people think just because you may be beautiful that you don't have a brain, and I believe that this is not necessarily true. If you looked around tonight, you would see 79 beautiful, intelligent and talented girls and the advantages of being beautiful is that we can compete in a pageant like this and it is the most wonderful experience. Thank you very much. Please wait here a moment. Bonnie was educated at an all-girls school where she says they taught her woman can do anything. But can she win the title? We'll soon find out. Thank you very much, Miss Puerto Rico. Would you select a question, please? All right, this comes from uh, judge number two, A.J. Kitt. May we have your question, please? What do you think is the best thing about living in your country? ¿Qué considera usted que es lo mejor que tiene su país para cuando se vive en él? Bueno, eh, yo considero que mi país tiene muchas de las cosas que, que principalmente nosotros eh, podemos brindarle al mundo. Eh, por ejemplo, puedo decir que tenemos playas como en Hawái, si queremos ver castillos como en España, eh, junglas como en África, eh, castillos y, y, y puentes como en London. Y creo que, que es una gran experiencia y es un gran país para mí y estoy muy orgullosa de representarlo. ¿Va a traducir? Gracias. I, uh, I'm very proud of my country. My country has a great deal of uh, things to offer. We have uh, beautiful beaches. We have uh, castles just like the ones you have in Spain. We have jungles like you have in Africa. We have beautiful bridges as you do in London. And uh, we do have a lot of beautiful things there. E? E? Well, 20 seconds, unfortunately. And? No, no, I didn't tell her she oh, only has okay, 20 seconds. Okay. 20 segundos solamente. Thank you. You have a very good memory. Please wait here a moment. Diana 
Lopez family, her national director, the town mayor, and a former Miss Universe from Puerto Rico are all here tonight cheering her on. Well, they won't have much longer to wait now. Muchas gracias. Miss India, please. Now well, we still have a few here. Let's see what you can do. This question comes from judge number eight, Michael Dorn. Michael, may we have your question, please? If you had the opportunity to live forever, would you want to and why? I would not want to live forever because uh, I don't believe that one can live forever. And so I don't think I would want to live forever. All right, hold on a moment, please. India has participated in the pageant since its beginning in 1952, but they've never had a winner. Young Namrita from Bombay has a chance to be the first. Thank you very much. Miss Colombia, please come forward. There's some still left. All right. This question comes from judge number one, Maria Conchita Alonso. about yourself that uh, you haven't already told the press. Did you hear the question? I certainly did. Cuéntanos algo sobre tu persona que no le hayas contado ya a la prensa. Bueno, que soy una persona muy sencilla, muy honesta, y me pueden llegar muy fácil a mí, y vengo de Colombia, el país más lindo, con la gente más linda, con el calor más humano más lindo, que tenemos muchas cosas que mostrar. Esa es Colombia, Paula Andrea Betancourt. What I'd like to say is that I am a very down-to-earth person, I am a very sensitive and honest person, and I represent my country, which is a beautiful country, which has a lot to offer, a country that is one of the most beautiful in the world. My name is Paula Andrea Betancourt, and I invite you all to come. Thank you very much. Please wait here. The last time Miss Colombia won, the country built her a mansion, declared her tax exempt, and issued a stamp of her. Well, I wonder what they'll do if Paolo wins tonight. Thank you very much. If you'd rejoin the other ladies. Ladies and gentlemen, that completes the judges' questions for our six finalists. We will reveal the final three contestants right after this. Welcome back live to Mexico City. We began the evening with 79 extraordinary young women, and now the judges have chosen the final three contestants for the title of Miss Universe 1993. Thank you, sir, very much. I'll again read the names in random order. The final three are Miss Colombia, Paula Betancourt, Miss Venezuela, Milka Trilina. Miss Puerto Rico, Diana <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, one of these three will be the new Miss Universe. the final question and a contestant can really lose it all at this point yes that's right but it's also a chance to give a great answer and win it all oh, yes that's right but now imagine the pressure they're feeling in that isolation booth so let's go back to the stage and see how they handle it we have to wipe off a little lipstick here you will do that all right yeah. okay. Okay. okay muchas gracias <laughs> Ladies, it's been a long journey. We've now arrived at the last round of competition, the final question. I have that question here. I will ask all of you the same question. You will have 20 seconds in which to answer. To be fair, we want to send uh, Miss Puerto Rico, Miss Venezuela, aquí, allí, to the, to the booth, please. And if you and I will step over here. Have the translator. They will not be able to hear in the isolation booth. They will be playing music in there. Everybody gets the very same question. Is everybody locked away? All right. The final question. If you were to become Miss Universe, 
What is the single most important thing you would want to accomplish? Si te convirtieras en mis universo, ¿qué sería la cosa más importante que quisieras tú lograr? Bueno, como vengo del pulmón del mundo, Amazonas Colombia conservaría y mi meta sería unirme con todas las naciones que tengan que ver con la protección del medio ambiente y ecología. Me uniría con ellos para en campaña para que nuestros niños, nuestro futuro puedan vivir en una tierra llena de vida, de amor y de tranquilidad. Since I come from the land of the Amazonas in Venezuela, we are like the lungs of the world. What I would do is that I would join with all the countries in the world on, in an ecological campaign so that we can conserve our natural resources, so that we can then offer them to our children who are the future of the world, so that they will be able to live in a healthy and loving environment. Thank you very much. Could you please step over here? I beg, excuse me. And now, please, may we have Miss Venezuela. <laughs> Miss Venezuela, again, it is the same question. If you were to become Miss Universe, what is the single most important thing you would want to accomplish? Es la misma, la misma pregunta. Si te eligiese Miss Universo, ¿qué es lo que tú quisieras lograr? Hay algo que quisiera lograr en cada ser humano. Y es que pudiera cambiar su actitud negativa a actitudes positivas. Si el ser humano se diera cuenta de lo que cuenta el pensamiento positivo, nuestro mundo en un año sería otro. Vamos a cambiar esa actitud, por favor. Vamos a ponernos positivos. Vamos a amar a cada uno de nosotros. If there is one thing that I would like to accomplish is to have the human beings change their negative attitude and turn it into a positive attitude with positive energy. If everybody turned into a positive person in one year, the whole world would be totally different. It'll be changed. Let us love each other, starting right now. Thank you so very much. Please, if you'd step over here. And finally, please, Ms. Puerto Rico. Ms. Puerto Rico, I will ask you the same question I've asked the other two women. If you were to become Miss Universe, what is the single most important thing you would want to accomplish? Oh, you go, okay? You yes, wanna? I know. Okay. Eh, la, tendríamos que usar nuestro pasado para trabajar bien fuerte en, en nuestro presente para tener un mejor futuro y un mejor mundo. Y pienso que lo primero que haría sería hablar con la juventud y con los niños que son el futuro del mundo, darles el amor y los consejos que ellos necesitan, porque si queremos un mejor mundo, tenemos que trabajar ahora con ellos que son su futuro. I, I think that we would have to work basing ourselves on our past, working hard in the present to provide for a better future. I believe that we should turn our energies to the children of the world to provide for them a better future because that is where our future lies. Thank you, Senor. Please, if you will, stand over here. Very nicely done, ladies. Hold on just a moment now. The judges will make one last decision now. This is the final vote to determine the winner. As each contestant steps forward, the judges will give her a ranking of three, two, or one. And as they vote for her, they will be doing so to elect her as the second runner-up, the first runner-up, or the new Miss Universe. And we will begin with Miss Colombia. Miss Venezuela. And finally, Miss Puerto Rico. Ladies and gentlemen, that completes our competition for Miss Universe 1993. We'll be back with the judge's decision in just a moment. Congratulations. Wow, one of those three young ladies is about to have her life changed forever. Which one will take the crown home for her country? We'll find out in just a moment. <laughs> Thank you. 
And now, as we prepare to crown the new Miss Universe, it's time to say farewell to the young woman from Namibia who's worn the crown for the past year. Ladies and gentlemen, for the last time as Miss Universe, Michelle McLean. As I end this exciting and fulfilling year, I want to thank my friends in the Miss Universe organization. The night I was crowned, my wish was to help the children of Namibia, and winning the title made that dream come true by allowing me to establish the Michelle McLean Children Trust. This past year, I visited 23 nations to help raise funds for children's charities. There was also time to have some fun and meet celebrities, and time to continue my modeling career. I was honored to make friends with the leaders of my country and make a tourism video promoting Namibia. A highlight was cheering our first ever Olympic team in Barcelona. A special thank you to my family and to my dear friend here for their love and support this year. As I continue my work with my Children Trust, I'll cherish these memories and the friends I have made forever. Thank you, Namibia. Thank you, Michelle, ever so much. Much good luck in the future. And now, ladies, the moment is here. We've tabulated the judges' rankings, and we're ready to reveal the second and first runner-ups and the new Miss Universe. The accounting firm of Ernst & Young have reviewed the results for accuracy, and uh, Mr. Mark Ward will now give me the printout. I thank you, sir, very much. To assist us, we have the reigning Miss Teen USA, Iowa's Jamie Solinger with us. Jamie, welcome. All right, ladies, take a deep breath. Here we go. The second runner-up is Miss Venezuela. Thank you, ladies, if you'll join me now. And now, we're about to reveal the name of the first runner-up and the new Miss Universe. Let me remind you of the importance of the first runner-up. If Miss Universe is unable to compete her brain for any reason, the first runner-up will become Miss Universe. Ladies, good luck to both of you. The first runner-up is Miss Columbia. Miss Universe is Miss Puerto Rico. Congratulations to Miss Puerto Rico. You are Miss Universe of 1993. You've won the cash awards and the prizes worth more than $200,000. And as our entire cast, Sarah Nade, you, here's the traditional walk as the new Miss Universe. Portions of this program have been re recorded. When the system doesn't work, there's only one type of justice, dark justice, later tonight on Crime Time After Prime Time. This is Mark McEwen. Thanks for making CBS America's Most Watched Network. I'll see you Monday on CBS This Morning. Now get ready for your local news. Cecilia, you put the crown on for Cecilia Boloco, for Angela Visser, Dick Clark. Good night, all. <laughs>